What up, what up, what up, Smile Squad? Welcome to the Professionally Silly Channel, or maybe welcome back to the Professionally Silly Channel. My name is Amber Smiles Jones, and today we are going to talk some ish via internet. So I'm sure all of you guys have heard about this Montgomery, Alabama brawl that happened on a dock. It was very interesting. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, honestly, just open up a social media app. It'll be there. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, X, formerly known as Twitter. It's interesting because like all of these memes and all these videos coming out are hilarious. And I thought that we would uh, we could enjoy these moments together and to have a laugh at the Internet and their creativity. I put a question mark at the end of that because I wasn't sure if that, if that was the right way to describe it. All right, guys. So do me a favor. Click that thumbs up button and make sure you guys subscribe. And uh, let's go ahead and get into it and have ourselves some fun. We are going to go ahead and go to X, formerly known as Twitter, which, by the way, if you have been sitting under a rock once again, Twitter is now known as X. I don't really get why that happened or what Elon was trying to do, but... If I'm being real with you, judging by the colors of the apps, the black and white, which is threads when you first download it, and now Twitter, or excuse me, X is with black and white. I honestly feel like Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk are having a like a pissing contest here. And I gotta say, Mark Zuckerberg might actually have the bigger one. All right, let's go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so Montgomery is tr is trending on Twitter. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. <laughs> so we got something here from Trey Melvin. He's actually a friend of mine. Um, I have not, like, not like close friends. The last time I talked to Trey Melvin was like back when I lived in Los Angeles, probably like two or three years before I actually moved. So we ain't close, but I do love the man. He's great. All right, so let's see what Trey Melvin talking about here. He actually took a photo of the chair here. I sat down and spoke with the chair from Montgomery and got the inside scoop. Tune in this afternoon. <laughs> I love Trey Melvin. Oh, my God. My name is Point of View, and I'm joined today with the chair from what many <laughs> are calling the Montgomery Riverfront Brawl. <laughs> let's take a look. I cannot. This you? It is. How are you today, Demonte? Now I, I gotta tell you, when Homie came out with a chair, that was some like Stone Cold Steve Austin shit right there. It was beautiful. Man. Care to tell us what happened in Montgomery? Man, I was smoking a blunt, thinking about the pussy I was gonna get later. Had a date with this bad bitch from IKEA, thick ass three C sofa from the clearance rack. A and a do rag. I cannot. Bitch. So I'm minding my <laughs> Internet, business, think about her being burly ass. When this black security guard politely asked these white people to move their punk ass boat so that the river boat could dock and the patrons could safely get off. What happened next? The white people ain't take too kindly to the request and started jumping the black security guard. Next thing I see is black Aquaman swimming across the river to help the security guard. And that's when you jumped in. That's when I whispered to one of the niggas next to me and told him, pick me up. Why'd you do it? First of all, I cannot with these close-up shots of him just, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love it when hosts of talk shows do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just me and assume I'm white when in actuality I'm just white passing and I just saw an opportunity to what? use my privilege as a super duper light skinned <laughs> from Alabama. Thank you for joining us and thank you for your service, Demonte. The pleasure is all mine, man. <laughs> Yo. Trey Melvin, you will probably never see this video, but if you ever do, you are hilarious. And I am so glad that you're making content. <laughs> that is hilarious. After witnessing my brothers and sisters take arm in the Battle of Montgomery, I knew that I had to be prepared myself. <laughs> Pulling out old bits, see, I practiced my chair jutsu. I haven't used this skill in years. Bro, homie has got some serious skills. I gotta say, I, I, I there is nothing that I could spend that well. And he getting it. I haven't used this skill in years. That's the last time I used it. I sent four people to the hospital with concussions. Their brains turned to jelly. It's a daily skill passed down from hood master to hood master. <laughs> baby daddy to baby daddy. Baby it's daddy. a powerful skill. When thrown, the chair can cause riots and get the most sane person into a frenzy. <laughs> but it's necessary. And I will be ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
th- this has become a whole new thing. This this brawl is wild. Let me tell you why it is it's as popular as it is, and why there's so many people making videos and discussing it. One thing that is not, that that we as black folk are not going to do is sit there and watch one of us get jumped by a bunch of white people. Yeah, now y'all saw a homeboy jump in the river and swim to this mother. Like he was like, listen, Aquaman from the hood. He was not playing. There is actually a picture of one of the white dudes who got his ass handed to him. Uh, they beat him through his Crocs. I've got to find that photo. <laughs> here it is, right here. <laughs> Yo, let's make it bigger. <laughs> Beat him through his crux. <laughs> he had turned his crux in the knee highs. <laughs> Why are they applauding? I don't understand. I guess they're glad he got arrested. Free him! Free him! I don't know if y'all saw it. There was one chick who was like, boo, free him, free him. And her friend was like, oh my God, please stop. <laughs> Damn it, Brenda. I'm not trying to go viral today, Brenda. Shit. <laughs> Free him. Boo. Oh, please, please stop it. <laughs> okay, we got to get some footage of Homeboy diving into the water. Homeboy jumped off the boat, from what I understand, swam to the dock to aid in this man. It was like, yo, I see another brother getting jumped by a crowd of white people. This is not sitting right with me. Uh, you can just call me Dante Phelps. This is what's going on. <laughs> okay, now the beginning of the entire video, you gotta go on Twitter to check this out. I can't really post the video here on, on YouTube because they will demonetize video. But when Homeboy took off his cap and then threw it in the air like a fucking bat signal, it's like every black person in the area was like, yep. Yeah. That's it. We gotta go to wherever that hat is. Yo, shit's about to get real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And when you think about it, literally not long after that, the entire Montgomery, Alabama black community was on that dock defending this man. Get up there, young buck. Oh, it's on Get now. Up. Look at these motherfuckers. Now, now you know when somebody starts skipping to beat some ass, it's about to go down for real, for real. When I tell you people ain't playing games no more, Listen, you can do whatever you want, but if you want to f around and find out, go ahead. Because let me tell you something, black folk ain't putting up with this shit no more. This is not 1843. You assault me, I'm gonna break your leg. It's as simple as that. Yo, give me your leg. Cause you about to get two piece and a biscuit, bitch. Okay, I'm about to bust it wide open. Okay. <laughs> Why am I so aggressive? I'm not gonna lie, this is probably bad for me to say, but this shit made my heart feel warm as f <laughs> Cause now I know if I get jumped by a bunch of racist white folk, I feel like my brothers and sisters nearby will come from land and sea to protect me. <laughs> Y'all feel safe as right now. <laughs> oh <sh> <laughs> Meanwhile, in Montgomery, Alabama. Stop it. <laughs> Django was a good movie, though, while y'all playing. So. <laughs> Not them posing with the chair, LOL. <laughs> These motherfuckers um, found a chair and took a photo of it. Yo. Somebody said, that chair is battle tested and approved. Yo, somebody said, I'm going to buy stock. <laughs> Me watching the Montgomery brawl over and over again. <laughs> Yo, why are we like this? <laughs> Get this chair to the Civil Rights Museum placed in a glass with the year 2023 on it. I cannot with people. I can't and I won't. Not this mother right here wearing a shirt of the chair event. <laughs> black Facebook is just as wild as black Twitter. Where can I order my Montgomery shirt too? These mother are already making shirts. <laughs> And this dude says, on my way to Cracker Barrel to celebrate August 5th, 2023. <laughs> Yo, stop it. <laughs> the unsung hero of Montgomery Brawl. <laughs> Y'all need to stop putting these do-rags on these motherfucking chairs, bro. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, I'm going to tell my kids they the Black Air Force Rangers. <laughs> This is hilarious. I'll be in Alabama tomorrow. Who riding with me? Sit your, <laughs> sit your print overly muscled ass down. <laughs> I know somebody says something about his print. Let me see. <laughs> no, nobody looking at that damn chair, child. <laughs> the shorts, it shortened this morning, sir. <laughs> That's what I cannot. 
every black person watching that Montgomery boat video <laughs> whoop that trick. <laughs> No, oh, that's true. That's true. We're all like in solidarity here. <laughs> Thanks to the ancestors for sending reinforcements to Montgomery River Pope Brawl yesterday. <laughs> Not them putting Harriet Tubman up here with a folding chair in her hand. I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> what bad was that? Oh my God, that was a great movie. God bless you, uh, Black Twitter and Black Facebook. Uh, oh, excuse me, Black X. <laughs> you guys are amazing. <laughs> oh my God, the internet needs to be shut down. I cannot. <laughs> okay, let's, let's just a couple of more. I'm not even gonna say much about them. I'm just gonna show them and laugh because it is perfect. I cannot <laughs> with this emoji sum up of everything that occurred. Like, I love it. <laughs> Okay, first of all, this person got, they got to work real quick, okay? They already have a tattoo. Stop playing. <laughs> Montgomery, Alabama, August 5th, 2023. <laughs> Never forget. Yo, that's crazy. You see how fast the internet works? My God. <sighs> I love the internet so much. <laughs> see this right here? <laughs> Just got my open carry license. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> this one gives me so much life because it's accurate as fuck. Like, like Nicole said, I've never seen a picture so accurate in my life. Oh my God. Oh, I, I just want to not be an adult. No, I want to be an adult but I don't want responsibilities. That's where I'm, that's my stance right now. All right, listen to me, last but certainly not least, but we, we really gotta talk about this fucking reenactment video. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna play it. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Heck goes up. <laughs> to be friends with everyone in this video. watching <laughs> subscribe <laughs> oh god <laughs> i gotta go <laughs> this was quite the episode today oh baby you already know what time it is it's time to go ahead take a look at your featured comments from one of my past videos so the video we're looking at this week is the the video we're looking at this week is the Taylorport challenge jenga uno edition pretty much what we did is we we drank Taylorport, we played uno and jenga all together in one game it, it was very interesting it sounds crazy but it was a good time indice says Taylorport is the purple henny lol you are not wrong in that that's absolutely what it is <laughs> miracles touch 2715 says the type of video that i've been waiting for that's a great game idea 100 i definitely recommend this game with family and friends <laughs> it's okay as long as you're of age and shout out to miracles touch for being a member Ew. uh we got ourselves another member here dimples says that looks so fun i had no idea you wasn't supposed to drink port like wine lol no wonder <laughs> i think i'll try this game i definitely seen him push your hand you finally got the hoodie yes <laughs> yo chris is a cheater i want to know that i mean don't play he's a he's a cheat you can't he cannot be trusted <laughs> in our last comment jake it 
Jake it Algins. Jake it Algins. I don't know how to say it. Uh, Jake says, OMG, I want to play it like this. I got to get me some friends in Syracuse, New York. And yes, I want to play in your locks. They look so good. That was not creepy. Kind of was, but I appreciate you. <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe. And I appreciate those of you that are commenting, that are hitting the thumbs up button, that are subscribed to my channel. It means the world to me. Thank you guys so much. Also, guys, don't forget about that scavenger hunt. No one has actually uh, tried it yet. I have not got in, I have not gotten any answers here. I know it's a little bit of work, but you're already staring at your phone. So why not win yourself a free Timu giveaway? Make sure you guys go ahead and check out the my scalp is scalping video and about about 15 minutes in we discuss what the questions are and uh, how you can win yourself a free giveaway and this is something that i would like to do but i need you guys to participate w go win something free ain't nothing like free baby once again my scalp is scalping i need a, i need a winner before i can go on to the next one because i have a box full of stuff that I, I can't wait to give away also guys don't forget to go ahead and check out my podcast the professionally silly podcast it's available everywhere podcast can be found be sure to subscribe to my podcast and give it a listen and come chill with your audible boo thing amber smiles jones on the professionally silly podcast <laughs> meth is on the menu let's talk about that for a minute so <laughs> what if you accidentally found out your best friend slept with your boyfriend so the amazing thing that happened was, is the Burt Show mentioned me by name on their nationally syndicated morning radio show. So I will read out the message that I got from my friend Amber at True Smiles Jones on the Instagram. Oh, we all know her and we love her. You do. She's, She's the best. so sweet. She's this really like awesome mm. creator. Everybody is seeing these things now, so now it's becoming a bigger thing. You know what I mean? Kind of like racism. We always knew it existed, but... Now that everybody's recording and filming it, it's kind of hard to put your head in the sand. You know what I mean? Okay, so bears have prostates. Yo, we be learning all kinds of shit on this podcast. That's fire. Well, I guess that's it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. 17 Big Macs and three packets of Q-tips.